All right, just got to the farm. Let's check out what's going on. Just got a huge delivery of compost. We're gonna use this uh, for the new development area in the back and also we use this for our potting soil. This area just got replanted. We had flowers here before, but uh, Lola and the Bee Club put in all these native plants. So there's gonna be a little native flowering area. They also put some more natives in the back. This is gonna fill up a lot. Like each of these plants is gonna get three feet wide. Um, so we'll have a nice flowering area as you enter the farm. All the trees in the nursery are looking pretty happy. And over here, blueberries, strawberries, one gallon trees, little yarrow flowering right there. Here's our wishing tree, the uh, holly leaf cherry fruit coming in. Looking very beautiful. This fruit is actually pretty good. This is a native uh, Southern California tree. You can find it up in the hills and it is related to cherry, the cherry that you know, um, but it's native and it produces a really nice fruit. Coming up on greenhouse one. Nice and humid in here. Everyone's looking pretty happy. Okay. And greenhouse two. Just prune down all these jamuns because we're gonna graft them in a bit. Um, but yeah, everything's looking pretty good in here too. Lots of beautiful poppies. Just planted a bunch of fig trees here along the fence. Grapes coming in. Raised beds just got lined up with the redwood. And look at this, blackberries. Oh yeah, big, beautiful blackberries, lots of them. Ah, ah, mm. mm hmm Oh yeah, so good. Getting ready for a birthday party here and an event early next month. Just got the shade clothed up, picnic tables ready to go. Looking pretty nice. And I'm gonna stop the farm tour here because at this point we're getting in to the redevelopment area, which is really messy right now. But still, lots of beautiful flowers and still looks nice. So let's go back up front. Um, there's a lot of stuff to do in the nursery today. So I'm gonna show you what, uh, what we got going on. Oh, I forgot about this. This is really fantastic. This is a damask rose. These are old time roses. This is what we use in India to make rose water. And the fragrance of this. Oh, oh my God. It's incredible. Okay, so we're gonna start out with these curry leaf trees. I dug these up from my parents' garden and curry leaf grows by root division. So you can see that these uh, kind of runners come off and then they sprout up new trees. So I've got a bunch of these. I'm gonna lay them out and then we'll start potting them up. So these curry leaf uh, root divisions, they do have trouble putting out new roots. Um, so I'm gonna add rooting hormone. I'm gonna dip them in this rooting hormone and then I'm gonna put them up into the pots. So some of them are gonna go into one gallon, the smaller ones, then we got tree pots and then three gallon pots for the largest one. While they're young and don't have a lot of roots, I'm removing uh, most of the foliage just to give them more time to set down roots. Um, Cause as the more foliage they have, the more water they're pulling up. They don't have enough roots to support that foliage. So removing the foliage, let the roots settle in and then it'll regrow and then we'll get more foliage later. Okay, we're all done. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 
trees out of that. Not bad. All right, now we're gonna plant these Suriname cherry seeds, but we got to get the seeds out of the fruit first. So, Jada, why don't you try a fruit for us? Sure. And tell eat the whole us. thing? Yeah, just eat the whole thing. There should be like one or two seeds in the middle. Okay. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't taste like a cherry. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. no. Just the name. Yeah, okay, it doesn't taste like a cherry. It's not too sweet, but very juicy. Very juicy? Yeah. Interesting flavor though, right? Mm -hmm. Like, not something like any other fruit. I can't describe it like any, yeah, I can't describe it. Yeah. Show the inside of the fruit. Yeah, let's take a look. The color is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, wow. See one of these close up? The flesh is like a plum. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So it's like tiny, tiny little, like little a, unsweetened, not as tart plum. Like a very ripe plum, mm -hmm, right? Like mm -hmm. juicy, fleshy. Yeah. Yeah, I love this. This is a this is a smaller one. Um, we have a couple other trees at my parents that give bigger fruit. But uh, since each one is from seed, they come out a little different. And then this is uh, gets that almost black color. And the other ones we have come out almost like bright red. So we're going to eat all of these fruit right now, and then we're going to plant the seeds. Yeah, Alright, Suriname cherries are all in. We've got like maybe 40 of them. So those will be ready in two years. So next is the husk cherry. So inside of this husk, there is this fruit and inside that fruit there are tiny tiny seeds hundreds of them and we're going to plant those up into these pots and this is a uh, tender perennial it does well in cool shady spots of your garden uh, here in southern california it grows all the way through northern california too just fine and makes fruit pretty much all summer long. So there we are, husk cherry, Suriname cherry, all ready to go, curry leaves. And that's it for today. And for my final trick, we have music at the farm now. Check it out. Da, 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 da. So now you can browse our greenhouses to Lauren Hill. And there are no words that And you could pick strawberries and blackberries at the same time. Not bad. Surround sound.